My name is Kareem Fleming. I'm the broker for Caswell Properties. We're a property management company that also assists uh, buyers and sellers with purchasing real estate in the Northern Virginia and Metro DC area. So today's topic is Section 8. Um, we want to help you to understand what the program is, how it works, and how it came about. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about is how the program came about. So in 1937, um, there's a housing act that granted permission to the government to pay private landlords on behalf of low-income families or individuals. So to summarize, Section 8 is a rent and utility subsidized program to assist low-income families or individuals. How did it come about? Um, the government saw that there was a need for low-income families and individuals to receive assistance with rent and utilities um, so that they can live in quality areas and in quality properties. So now that we've identified what Section 8 is, let's talk about the process from the tenant standpoint on how it works. So what happens is the tenant has to fill out paperwork um, provided by Section 8 um, in order for them to meet the criteria to receive the rent assistance. Um, so they would go down to Section 8's office or they would call, receive the information online, fill out the paperwork. Section 8 would then deem how much assistance they will receive from Section 8. So for example, they have a family of five uh, where only the husband may be working, making $24,000 per year. Section 8 may deem um, that they're able to get housing assistance up to $2,800. Um, versus a married couple where there's one individual working for the same amount, they may give them less Section 8 assistance. Another thing to know about Section 8 is um, people use these words interchangeably, um, Section 8 and the voucher program. So just to clarify, Section 8 is the act that allows the government to pay rent or subsidize rent on behalf of low-income families or individuals. Um, the voucher program is the actual program that makes the payments. So Section 8 is the law, the voucher program is the actual rent payment um, program. So the checks actually come from the voucher program in the individual county um, that the person is receiving the assistance from. Um, again, the amount of rent varies from county to county, uh, depending on rent prices, depending on the family or the individual situation. So every situation you may come across will be different. Let's talk a little bit about the process and how it differs from your typical rental process. Um, the first thing we'll talk about is uh, your typical rental process. So your house is on the market for rent. Um, you have a family or an individual um, that comes in. Um, they apply to rent your unit. Um, after you run their credit check, background check, uh, an eviction check, you decide to accept them. You then provide your lease. Um, they provide you the necessary deposits and you're pretty much done, your unit is rented. With Section 8, it's not quite that easy. Um, so the first step with Section 8 is the Section 8 individual or their realtor usually calls and asks ahead of time if you would consider a Section 8 candidate. The second step is they will come by and visit the property. If the tenant um, likes the property, they will usually give you a stack of documents that Section 8 will require that either the homeowner the homeowner's realtor or the property management company for the property to fill out. The second step is um, after the, the document is filled out, the documents are usually given back to the tenants or given to Section 8. They review the documents. And the third step is where they come by and actually do an inspection on the property. So this is very important. Um, when they inspect the property, at least here in our Northern Virginia area, um, they're looking for things like broken light bulbs, um, light switches, they want to make sure all the outlets work. You have to have uh, working smoke detectors. Um, all of the burners on the stove, for example, need to be working. All the appliances need to be working. The heating and cooling unit of the property needs to be working. And the overall appearance of the property, it needs to be clean and tidy. Um, that is very, very important. Of course, the program is, is, is set up to assist individuals, um, so it's really important that they come and do the inspections and the property looks and appears to be um, in good health, so to speak. After the inspection is done, 
um, you can go ahead and have the lease signed by the tenant. Um, one thing to remember is that the lease agreement is between the homeowner and the tenant, not between the homeowner and Section 8. Um, once the lease is signed by the tenant, Section 8 receives a copy. If they have any issues, they'll let you know. Um, usually, they'll ask you for your bank information to make direct deposits every month. Um, and then you would start receiving direct deposits um, after your, your lease has been signed. So we hope that you found this information helpful. Um, if you have any questions, we're always available to assist you. Um, you can reach us by email, uh, text, or telephone. Um, our number is going to be at the end of the video here. Um, and again, thank you so much for watching.